Hey you guys, it's your boy Jay Hen, and I'm back with another Travel Tech Tuesday video. Okay, hey you guys, in this uh, Travel Tech video, I'm going to be looking at another uh, space heater. As you saw last week, I had a space heater, and I thought that uh, space heater was going to be a pretty good one, and I liked the design of it, and I thought it was going to be so nice, because on the box, it had all the nice, uh, the flame look, and like a fireplace look, but found out that it only uh, had heat coming out the bottom, so I edited again, trying out again, trying to find another space heater, and... I happen to come by this one right here. It is the Built Tough Utility Heater. Um, I'll leave information down below in the description about this if you're trying to look um, to get a space heater and maybe you want to try this one out. But I'm just going to do an unboxing right here with you guys. I got my scissors on deck because it is taped up, you know, to make sure I can open the box. Oops, don't want to be banging it down like that. I don't want to destroy it before uh, I even open it up. But it says it's Built Tough, so it probably could take a... Uh, uh, licking and keep on ticking. So just really quick some of the things that it says right here on the box It says it's a uh, anti-freeze. It says easy uh, setting keeps room from freezing temperatures and then it has a, a, a Another icon on here that says tough. It says strong construction with a uh, cool touch And then it has another icon a fire icon and it says powerful 1500 watts of heating power and then it says uh, front facing air recirculation heats the room quickly. And it says it can be used against the wall without um, air blockage. Also, it has the same safety tips as that other heater that I had, space heater I had. It has the uh, anti tip over protection, it has overheat protection, and then it has uh, the controls. It has manual uh, controls and an ad adjustable thermostat. And it says additional features. It has high-low heat settings as well as a padded carrying handle. So that'll be interesting to see how what that padded uh, carrying handle is like. And then it has a power indicator light and a cord wrap. So a way to wrap the cord around. So it's supposed to be a pretty nice uh, space heater. I think it was about 30 to, it's between $24 and $32. I can't remember right now. And then one of the other things that um, it did say like right on the bottom front here. It says it's I, an ideal solution to heat your garage, workshop, or basement. So we're going to see if this really can, you know, like heat up a garage area, um, basement, or work area. I'll try it out in my garage and see. Um, and then what I'm noticing on a lot of the space heaters is I was looking for them. They're starting to put these uh, boxes on them with information and it tells you like about the unit you're getting versus other types of um, space heaters. So with this unit, um, they do give it three stars for having quick heat, uh, two stars for directional um, heat objects, uh, two stars for heating room. Uh, two stars for strong intense heat and then it has one star for quiet heat so uh -oh, we'll see if it's loud and then it has three stars for a family active home and I'm guessing because it does have that uh, anti-tipping uh, shut off and then because it also has the anti uh, it can stop from overheating so I'm guessing that that's why it did give the uh, three stars for the uh, for family so we're just going to Go right in and let's open it up. So I hope you guys are staying warm wherever you're at. You know, the, the temperature here in Wisconsin has kind of been going back and forth. We did have a um, one snowfall, but we didn't get too much snow. And uh, the temperature's been kind of mild still for this time of year. All right, so... That's pretty much it in the box here. Pretty much comes with your uh, like typical, I guess, instructions, um, information, I guess, about if you have any issues or problems with the device. Uh, Built Tough Utility Heater just tells you to please read the important instructions before uh, utilizing it. Uh, let's see on the back it tells you about cleaning, maintenance, troubleshooting, heater storage. 
and I'm pretty sure we can just probably figure out how to use this right off the box here. We'll see. Okay. It does feel kind of, uh, I guess, I mean, I don't like plastic, a hard plastic, so I guess this is some good plastic to wear if it dropped or something. That it might be okay. And I do see on the back, it does have the uh, cord wrap area. So it's uh, like four areas right here where you can wrap the cord around. So I guess that can be helpful. So you don't have cords everywhere and all over the place. I'm just going to take this uh, twisty off. And let's see about wrapping it up. And I had this mic on my jacket, so it might seem loud with it hitting the table. So I'm just going to pull it back here. And there you go. You can just wrap the cord around there. So that way the cord is not in the way when it's not in use. Or maybe if it's even being used someplace close, you can still use this area here to... um wrap the cord around it does this uh handle it is rubberized so like i said it does have that rubber right here so it does feel like this probably some cheap plastic but it is and then it doesn't feel that like that hard so i don't know look at this it can i don't know if you guys can see it but i can almost kind of push this in on the side so i don't it might fall apart if it if you uh drop it so i guess that's why they got this nice handle on here to make sure that you do not drop it but going to go ahead and see what other features are on here so on the top on one side it does have the thermostat here that can go I guess from depending on how warm you want it you can turn this here from you know cool heat all the way up to the highest form of heat and then on the side on the left side here it does have like the on button to turn on the fan Let's see what the buttons are actually for. So I'm not just standing here, sitting here guessing. Okay, so the first setting, there's an image of a fan. And it says that's for a uh, fan only. So hopefully you guys can see that there. It says fan only when you put it on that uh, first one. And then the, the uh, next one is low heat. We're looking at the uh, buttons on the, or the knob on the left side. It says low heat, which it says is about 750 watts. And then where you turn it up to the next one where it has those two waves going across, it says that that is high heat setting and it's about 1500 watts. So let's see, we're just going to just plug this up while we're right here just to see how loud it is. And then I'll probably end up taking it down in my garage or someplace in my home to try it out. Okay, so we have it plugged up, and I turned it on the fan only, and I'm wondering, I do feel cool, cold air coming out of it, so I'm wondering, is it just like a regular fan, because it's just pretty much cold air coming out of it. Yeah, so it's pretty much just cold air coming out of it I turned it all the way over to the almost like a snowflake and it's it has the cool air coming out of it so just have it on the fan only it's not really blowing too far out let's see how far I have my hand like right here I really don't feel it if I'm like right here, I can feel the air coming out of it, but it is coming out. Oh, it's come out. It come, it's coming out more at the top than it was down when I had my hands down lower. So I can feel it back here um, coming out of the top. So maybe the fan is kind of blowing it up. So let's turn on the first level of heat. Oh, and I feel it got warm right away. It got warm instantly. And I do have the knob, the thermostat turned all the way to the highest position. And as you can see, anytime I move it from being flat, 
that automatic uh, tip over response seems like it was making it shut off. There it goes. So if it tips or moves, it's supposed to stop. But I see it's not stopping all the way. Um, it does stop from going backwards, forward, but I don't know about this side. That could be an issue because it's tipped over on the side and you guys hear it, it's still going. So, uh, so much for the, the tip response and let's try this side. It's still going. So if you get this, you might have to watch it for the whole tip over situations unless it falls forward or backwards. At least it shuts off that way. But this one is not shutting off from tipping on the sides or from picking it up. It's not shutting off, which I thought it would have uh, shut off just from picking it up. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. It's like, okay, with this one, see the last one, it was only blowing air out the bottom. This one, it seems like the air is forced out this way. So it's not coming all the way out the bottom or out the middle. The air is just forced out the top. I'm gonna turn it up a notch the fan even higher and the heat oh it did get a lot more into dang it's like wow that's hot just turning it up that extra notch to the uh, 1500 watts of heat setting it gets like it's like burning my hand is this close I couldn't keep my hand right there it's, that's like burning heat so right here I can still feel it uh, I can kind of still feel it out this far because the, the heat is very hot like you wouldn't want to be sitting too close to this with it on that uh, 1500 watt setting. So I could see this like actually warming up a whole room, especially if it's not a room that's uh, too big. So I'm going to take it out and uh, take it downstairs in my garage and just see if I'm sitting there in the garage area, if it will um, keep me warm since the garage is such a large space and my garage does have uh, some cracks that allows air to come in. So we'll just see how it is sitting down there for a little while. So keep watching and we'll keep uh, checking out this Built Tough heater. You guys know what? Before I go check it out down there, I just turned it around and it, it's very, it's on that high setting and from over there, it's probably about two a foot or two away from me and it's really warm. I can feel the air just forcing over here and it's hot. It's, it's, it's hot, it's warm, it's warm. So yeah, I can see this doing a pretty good job but let's go check it out downstairs okay you guys so I did bring this down in my garage and I had it going for probably almost 30 minutes um, and just thinking like I said I would like for the air to come out of the whole thing and not just shoot out of one spot now the problem with the other heater I got was it only came out the bottom this one kind of just pushes the heat out the top but I think I like this uh, last co heater because all of this air is forced out of this whole thing so i think for right now i'll still keep using that heater when i'm sitting out here in the garage and things like that listening to music chilling um and i think this one is going to go back if you guys have tried this one out let me know what you think but yeah i'm gonna uh send this one back like i said too i don't like the whole tip over anti-tipping capability is supposed to have this shut off and when it's on its sides it doesn't shut off so I think that could be a problem for someone that does have kids or pets or um, something like that so yeah it only shuts off when it falls forward or backwards and I just don't think it's going to be enough air hot air for me especially when it gets to be like frigid and I want to sit out here or even for my bedroom like I say this one it does a good job heating up my bedroom uh, this one, gonna go back to the store and gonna try it again. Shipping it back, shipping it back.